Hey y'all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be working on a DIY project for a checkout stand that we are going to need for a retail opportunity that we got at the seaport. The reason why we decided to go with our own checkout stand and make our own was because a lot of checkout stand types that we actually wanted were costing thousands of dollars online. So, you know, we figured, you know, why not make a more affordable option? So we decided to go to Home Depot, we grabbed a bunch of materials that we're going to need for this project. So if you'd like to learn uh, a little bit more around how we made the, uh, the checkout stand, please feel free to watch the whole entire video all the way through. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for future content. So let's dive in. So when it came to materials, we went with a half inch plywood, like you see here. This is not too heavy, so it's uh, quite the right size that we needed. Uh, we're also going to be doing a lot of trimming on the edges of the front panels and the side panels and the top panels as well. So we got some, um, you know, uh, one by twos here. We got our table here that we're going to be using to sand. We got more plywood here. This plywood has not been sanded yet. We got our Ryobi sander here. And then we got the rest of our materials that we're gonna need. We are done putting our front panel and our side panels together. You see we use piano, or well, I use piano hinges right here. So this gives us that mechanism that allows you to break it down when you're done using it or open it up when you're going to use it. When I'm using it or ready to use it, I can just open it up and set it up like that. And then we're gonna have our top countertop on here. When I'm done using it, I'm gonna be able to close it up and put it away. All right, so we are done setting up our countertop. You can see this one really came out really nicely with um, we put a trimming on the edge of the plywood here, so it's gonna make it look like it's thicker than it actually is. So you can see we have a little bit of a, a gap in here, but because of the way we put the trimming, it's making it look thicker than it is. And this is what we're going to be placing on top of the, the front panel and the side panels to give us our uh, countertop. So let's test it out. There we have it. We're not quite there yet, but we are halfway there. So you can see this is going to be the countertop. It's going to be removable when you're done using it. But this is a first example of what it's going to look like. So what I'm doing here is I'm securing I'm adding uh, uh, some scrap 
wood here to actually be able to hold the side panels and the countertop in place when we put it on top of the this assembly so I have one on each side so that the side panels will be able to slide and fit right into those two slots when we put the countertop right on top Now, what I'm doing is using some wood filler to cover up any crevices that we have in our wood. And then I'm not really worried about how good it looks right now because after the fact, I'm gonna come in here with a sander and sand it down. So, just making sure everything is filled in. Okay, so today's day two, the wood filler that we had used yesterday to fill out all the crevices in the wood has finally cured. So now we're gonna move, be moving into the final touches of this DIY project. Uh, we're gonna be doing some extra sanding. Uh, we're gonna be doing some sealing with some matte finish, making sure we get those finishing touches. We're also gonna be adding some shelves at the bottom so we have more utility out of our checkout stand. So uh, let's dive into it. Hey y'all, so this is the retail space that I was talking about here at the Seaport in Boston. Uh, so we've been here for a few months and we've been using the checkout stand as you can see. Uh, it's been working out really well for us. Uh, you can see it's a really good size where if somebody's checking out with their candles, they can come right here, they can easily check out. There's a lot of room for you know one or two people as well. Uh, we also put a few accessories to kind of hold it up, put it together. Uh, but you can see it's a really good size in this space. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but it's also enough room for about, you know, at least two people in the back. Our favorite part about the checkout stand too is that we have a lot of storage area back here. So for any of our uh, retail bags, you know, any of our extra boxes or any other thing we want to put away that we might not have space for, this is where we put it uh, in the back. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and learned something. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for any future content that we're going to be 